Hello, my good friends, and, and welcome back to my glorious channel. Um, I'm Audio. Uh, this, this video is a video featuring the road to Hades. That is a dungeon located in Izumo. Izumo! In Japan. So, basically, I'm making this video because there's no way in hell I'm ever going to walk through hell in Son Goku, Japan. You know, and basically... Obviously, it's Sengoku Rants, and I'm never, ever, ever going to do that dungeon in a regular playthrough. I'm never going to do the Road to Hades, because look at my commander list right now. It's a bunch of really boss stuff. Now, in all fairness, it doesn't have to be this good. Um, I'm planning on doing Orochi with these same command. Well, not this. Obviously, Gon probably won't go to that, but uh, more or less, these same commanders are going to be fighting Orochi as well. And I tried to make a really good... Uh, you know, dungeon dungeon team basically, and Nanjo Ron's route. So that's what was happening here, and uh, I walked through Road to Hades with what I have. I'm like, like I said, I'm showing Road to Hades because I won't do it in a normal playthrough, and uh, I will never ever get this this mashup of units in a normal playthrough, and I'll never clear that much of the map in a normal playthrough. Um, this is just to show this dungeon and show what it is, because a lot of people. I'm guessing here, um, only one of my, or no, two of my friends, rather, have done Road to Hades. Um, I, like the majority of people who went inside of it, I'm sure, got to the last floor and were, you know, raped, because it's so ridiculous. Uh, it's a hard dungeon. It's, it's definitely harder than Xavier. The boss battle at the end of this dungeon is a lot harder than Xavier is. Um... It's probably easier than Orochi, though, I would like to think. Though I haven't done Orochi at this point in time. I'm terrible at dungeons as usual, and that's why I put a Garchikagami on Ron in the last fight. I was trying to have her stand by, but I'm stupid, so I ruined it. But it's... The dungeon itself isn't really that hard, you know? You... It's... It's pretty normal. You see some cool enemies, um... But really, you just kind of go through it like any other dungeon. You save your flags and whatever. I obviously didn't start out with an A team. I went in with a, a C team. As much as I love Mori Teru, she is just... No, I wouldn't say awful. I was going to say awful. I wouldn't say she's awful at commander battles, but she's not that good. You know, she's she's not that good. Um, yeah, but uh, I did a lot of interesting things. So you'll be seeing some footage of those. Those other hijinks. Um, I think I got ranced to level 68 before I came in here. Which, uh, that's not overkill by any means. Um, what I have here is slightly more than needed. I mean, you'll see in the last fight. But yeah, I wanted to show the Road to Hades because A, there wasn't anything on YouTube for it. And B, it's kind of a unique dungeon, actually. It's, uh, it, I... I guess it's kind of an Easter egg thing. It's weird. Um, you might have you might have come to this dungeon for various things. Um, obviously you can come to it and play through it normally and then get raped by the last boss. Um, also to character clear Matanari, you need to come in here. Um, you only have to go to like floor eight before you see Diadera, his yokai, the one that put a curse on him, and then you kill it. He's decursed. You can capture him. All that shit. That'll be in a different video. That'll be in a different playthrough. It's, um, it's not that hard to get Montanari in your army, uh, but you need to come in a road to Hades to do it. So that's one of the things that you'll be in here for. Um, the uh, Alice Soft, the Alice Soft Wiki says that clearing Road to Hades gives you the Emperor Sword. Um, I received no such item uh, upon completion of this dungeon, but I received a unique CG, which we'll be seeing in this video. So. Um, Toward the end, you know, obviously when I'm about to kill the boss, there is a CG. And if you don't want that CG spoiled for you, just don't watch it. Um, there isn't anything related to the story in this dungeon at all besides Diadera, Matanari's yokai. And I don't have that that scene in here anyway. Um, actually, in this playthrough, I had already killed him. But, yeah, that's really all the information you need. Um, you should have someone, if you're doing Road to Hades, as with most dungeons, you should have dungeons you should have someone with a dungeon scout or whatever the hell it's called uh all of my ninjas have that um except inukai he doesn't have that skill and i didn't get gecko so um this enemy of bebitar i they are a reference to the 
to the to the rant series in and of themselves, you know. Um, they have a number on their chest, and I believe it's that number, uh, that number of rants game where they started showing up. Uh, I hope I'm not wrong about that, but um, whatever. They're interesting. They're in Rance Quest. I've seen it. I've seen it, and I'm gonna believe it. I'm gullible. Whatever you want to call it. Um. Yeah. So. Really, that's it. You get a lot of ogre bones going in here. Um, and it's it's not hard. It's not a hard dungeon. And normally I don't have a lot to say about dungeons, but I do have a lot to say in this one in particular because there's so many things that I haven't done. You know, in True Route, when I played through that, I had, you know... I mean, you're looking at the commanders I have now. Four of those you haven't seen me do anything with on YouTube. You haven't seen me do a thing. Well, I guess Eiyasu you may have, but uh, the other people know. And Okita knows of me in particular. She uh, she is a great, you know, she's a great unit for dungeon battles and stuff, but she's terrible for army battles, so I didn't recruit her in True Route. She is actually pretty high up there in historical, you know, reference. She's uh, she's based on a guy. And her role in this game is, oh man, it's good. We'll talk about that when I do Kenshin's route. She'll be in that one. A um, whole lot of stuff there. It's, it's really interesting. But um, the Himmler. I haven't seen the Himmler in any other dungeon besides this one. And I've done most of them. Um, hold Orochi's, and I'm sure he's in there. Uh, samurai. They, there was one on the last floor. There are these, like... Oh god, what do you call them? Nendroid samurai bald pieces of shit. I don't know I don't know what you'd call them. But they're one of the higher level enemies in the game. A Himmler is up there as well. And uh Himmler and the blue robed guy like that are magical war machines. And they were in other Rance games. They are not unique to Sengoku Rance. Um Yeah, so you know that. There's another samurai. Um and basically the story about Road to Hades is that it just it goes to hell. It's a it's a dungeon that goes to a different dimension, a different world, and you go to the end of it. Um, I guess doing whatever, you know. <laughs> you rants, you don't care what's down here, you're just gonna go, you know, look for some women or something. I don't that's what he does. He doesn't care. But uh, the final boss, you know, you don't have to have Rance to hurt it. It's not a demon or anything like that. Uh, I'll, I'll announce that right away. Um, I guess. Because, you know, if he was a demon, then the entire strategy changes. Uh, you also, the reason Road to Hades is hard, you don't get your shit back. You don't get your action flags. You don't get your health. Your dead commanders, they aren't going to be there for the last boss. You got to make do with what you've got. And that's pretty hard to do. Um, Uruza was 69 when I did this, and 69! <laughs> oh, jokes aside, Magic's level cap is also 69. That's interesting, right? I think that's funny. Um, but what I was saying, 69 is really high level, and Uruza's... I think she's the second best commander in the game. Well, I mean, there's Rance and Kentaro, and then Uruza, you know? Um, so that's how that goes. But... Uh, the boss fight's coming up next, because I had come through here before and lost miserably, so... Um, I get to go in here, and, uh, you'll note the music change, and that's part of the reason I like this dungeon so much, because this track is unique to this... this boss, like, there he is. Um, you don't get this music anywhere else in the game, and, uh, testimonials from my friends, basically, it's... And from myself, it's kind of startling when you you get to the end of this dungeon and there's this guy here and he just starts one-shotting all your people at once, you know? You're like, oh shit, what's going on? And you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do about it because look at how much damage he did. That's pretty good. Uh, you've got to have a lot of really high-tier commanders to deal with that. And, well, I do in this, in this instance. I have a lot of good commanders, but... If you're just coming through here for fun or, you know, whatever. Oh, I'm gonna go get a free level out of some dungeon or whatever the hell. And you decide to go through the road to Hades, you've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> you know? Um, I kind of screw around. Ch Kobe Akawa Chinu just gets one shot. I don't, 
I didn't know her like endurance for a fight like this and Noir is not really as good as I thought she would be either. Um, but yeah, this guy really ravages whatever you're gonna put out there because he's he's pretty strong. Um, I, I don't know any benchmarks for the guy, but I know Rance can take quite a few of his AoE hits. Um, other people can't. I mean, it, like I said, it one-shots my Miko in the back. Uh, it just seems like, based on class, um, certain units have a higher resistance to things, which makes sense. I mean, that's fairly obvious. Like, my musket unit will probably... I don't think she gets one-shot, but she gets very close to one-shot because she doesn't have any armor. This one in particular, using her as wearing a swimsuit, you know, so she's not really ready for war. But, uh, warrior units can take more hits. And another thing that I realized when I was preparing for this, mostly due to my experience with dungeons, is that, uh, Warrior units are excellent commanders for commander battles, but their army units are usually fairly average. Um, mages are kind of the opposite. Uh, yeah. Well, that's not true. There are exceptions all over the place, but, you know, a warrior unit is only so decent. And I had Kuge Kyoko because she is an offensive behemoth that I'll go over in a different playthrough because you can just... Oh my god. <laughs> it, I, I won't describe it now because we're fighting Gu Gunagan, the Golemi Diamond guy, and he's probably a throwback to a previous Rance game. Um, again, I wouldn't know. Rance 2 was recently translated. Heads up to those of you who didn't know, and you should go and show your appreciation to the group that did that, um, whose name I don't actually know right now. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, but... You know, it's it's not hard. Sengoku Rance 2, translation patch. Well, there's only one group who's done it. Sengoku Rance 2. Rance 2, the recreation done in 2010. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm butchering their work, but... In any case, this boss here goes on, and... He's got 7,777 health. That is so ridiculous. You know, Xavier's rocking 2,000. Okay, guys? Uh, it's not really easy. The game doesn't expect you to do this. Um, you'll see the reward here t at the end, and you'll see what I mean. It's kind of ridiculous. And I actually kind of freaked out here because they put two units in the back row. I had two units. They didn't give me a third. Oh, my God. I'm losing. You know, I freaked out. I was like, oh, God, but I have so many people. Where's Masamune? I don't have Masamune. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, they're all melee. All I have are melee people left. They're not going to put some melee guy in the back, so they didn't do it. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's how I experienced them with the dungeons. But actually, I'm not that ex inexperienced anymore because I've done all of them. Except Orochis. Again, I'll emphasize that I haven't done Orochis. Um, in this instance, I gave Kenshin an action textbook too, and the Emperor Ring. So that's why she has five flags. Um, I love Nogiku. Uh... I'd like to see her in glasses, but you'll see more about them probably in Kenshin's route as well. That's when I plan on conquering the Yokai Kingdom. We'll see how things turn out because Kenshin's route is a gigantic pinch. That is a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, this I like the music during this fight quite a bit. It's called the Terrible, and um, yeah, I, I'm just I'm mostly uploading this video because, like I said, I will never do it. Most people have no idea this is in the game. Many people are too intimidated by the 18 floor dungeon with this asshole at the end of it. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's my whole reasoning there. Um, that's all I need. I'm a champ. But uh, this, this dungeon intrigues me more than Orochi's. It's just, I love this place because, because of what it is. You don't have to do it. They don't. It's just this big, really important, strong thing in this place that they never tell you you have to do. You don't have to interact with this. No one who plays this game needs to see it. And Orochi is much the same way, but this guy's not even a bonus objective. And he's comparable to Orochi, you know? He's easier, as I've said, but he's still comparable because look at what he is, you know? Um, he's, he's a big dude. Uh, and yeah, that's his only ability, and he's slow. Um... I think he's coming out of another world, you know? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like he's reaching up out of the earth. But... I have no idea. 
and um I've seen pictures of things that look like this guy in other Rance games, but again, I don't speak Japanese. I can't read Japanese and I don't know what they are. So, yeah, but Rance kills it, you defeat it, he drops something, you get this awesome reward, and it's that CG. That's actually inside the game. Despite the fact I could draw better than that, I'm so happy that <laughs> that's in the game. And I didn't have that CG. I just unlocked it for the first time um, doing this here. I, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I mean, I had seen that CG before, but, you know, I didn't know it was from Sengoku Rants. And... Ah, well, I'll see you guys around.